perhaps the most requested video that I've ever received. From this video onwards, we're going to be looking at a series of videos which is going to help you a lot to prepare for your O-levels and A-level examinations. I know that a lot of you guys self-study and a lot of you guys attend a lot of tuitions and coaching centers. I did the same. However, giving a mock exam and giving the real exam in an exam hall are two completely different things. So this series is going to be covering all the hacks, strategies, ideas, concepts, innovations, time of education, all the ideas required for you guys to nail your O-levels and A-levels, keeping in mind that education is not the only thing that you do. I do not want you guys to study 24 seven right before the exam, sacrificing your personal life, sacrificing your extracurricular activities, sacrificing every other thing just to get that A. No, this is something that we are not gonna be doing. So if you watch a couple of these videos, which is gonna be a complete series, I can guarantee you that before the exam, while others are gonna be completely mad studying, you can relax and revise a couple of chapters and just go to the exam hall with a sense of calm. This is the entire purpose of this series. With no further ado, this being part one of the video, let's start off with the first ever part of how to ace your O-level and A-level examination series. Let's get on. In this video, I'm going to be emphasizing on the importance of starting early. You must be wondering that what does it mean to start early? Should I start my A-level preparation during my O-level days? Should I start my O-level preparations during grade eight and nine? I'm not exactly saying that. However, it's that small summer break or prior to the class times that you utilize. Imagine that your class 11 AS level education is gonna start from August. The first three months, try to at least open up your book and see the syllabus. Try to understand the main concepts. I do understand that education is something that nobody likes, but in my case, I love education and I love the concepts that A-level and O-level has taught me. The only thing that I did not like were exams, right? And exams are something that we do not have to give in our free time when we study. So start early and start preparing yourself from the summer. If you are in grade eight and if you're gonna start with your O-level syllabus, which is normally the um, normal rule, start off in the summer break. You can grab yourself a tutor or you can self-study with several links, which I'm gonna be posting in this video, only the links that have been helpful to me since grade eight. So that is pretty much it. Starting early helps you in a lot of different ways. Not only are you ahead of everyone in class, which is very, very important, you are also able to understand what the teachers are teaching you. Most of the time, all the teachers that we receive, at least in South Asia, are not Americans or British. They are Bangladeshis, Indians, or Nepalis, whoever is watching this video. But the difference is we have an age gap. So our teachers are like in their 30s and 40s and we are in our 15s and 20s. So we might not understand all the concepts that they tell us. But if you read the book a couple of months earlier, you will at least understand what they're talking about. And where will you start early? I am not telling you to read the textbook. Textbooks are this big. Who reads textbooks? Sorry, we have to read textbooks, but not now. What you can do is you can go to YouTube and see a couple of videos. An example will be in the link in the description below. Seeing these videos help you know your subject better. And I would honestly say that starting early is the most important key. A lot of people wait until the school teaches them the things. That is not how a good student functions. I'm not calling myself a good student, but a lot of students who have received good grades, at least the ones that I have seen, do not wait for school to teach them things. They either go to coaching centers and learn a different things, which is the norm in South Asia, or a lot of people who are brilliant, they are in their houses and they do self-study. Start early, and I cannot emphasize the importance of this. If you really wanna get an A, and if not an A star, even better, you cannot do it just by studying one or two months before the exam, at least if you're hunting for a very good grade, 90, 95, or even 100. Thank you so much for watching the first ever video. The next video is probably even more important, which is motivation. How to keep yourself 
motivated during the stressful times. And then we're going to be talking about in the third video that how do you balance education with a lot of extracurricular activities in grade 9, 10, 11 and 12, followed by a couple of other videos. I hope you love it and continue watching this series and also follow the links that I'm going to give to various resources in the description. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and let me know how you like the new setup. Hopefully one day that mirror is going to be replaced by the silver play button, but that's a, that's a long thought process. So thank you for watching and I'm going to see you next time. Cheers.